when I go to a bar, when I go there, I want to know that the foods and drinks are at least clean, but uh, you ever been to a restaurant? You walk in and something is so unhygienic that it made your eyes widen. I mean, maybe it was bacon in your, your omelet. <laughs> But being facetious there a little bit, but, but it could have been something much worse because not everyone looks at online reviews. So that's why we're going to tell you the dirty truth. Because, John, every time you come on the show, you share things with me that kind of ruin my life a little bit. Just a little <laughs> bit. Just it's a hard little for bit. You to go to bars. I'd like to think I'm protecting you. So, what's this time? Talk okay. So, you go to a bar, and every bar has these bar mats, don't they? Mm -hmm. You've all seen them. And they sit on the bar, your glass touches the bar, et cetera. But what people don't realize is if they don't clean these. Uh, oh, what is that? <laughs> that is what gets inside. So these are E. coli colonies. This is bacteria, and it can get you incredibly sick. So if you sit at a bar, it's very easy. These are right in front of you. You can take a peek, if it looks wet, don't drink. So those bar mats, are, are the glasses constantly in contact with that? So this is on That's a bar you... rail, and this is where the bartender actually prepares the drink. So he puts the glassware on this mat, makes the drink, then serves it to you. You then pick up the glass, and that sludge well, is now so on your hand. Since this is in every bar, what can we do as customers when we walk into a bar? I would leave, personally. I would not consume anything that was made in this gutter. Okay, but before... Okay. And gutter's a good word. So what's your second secret here, though? Okay, we've all seen servers in aprons, right? Yep. So here's a server apron. Now, they tend to take these home with them at night and bring them in. They bust tables, don't they? So there's grease on their hands. So what happens is every time they stick their hand in this, they're covered in bacteria. So now they touch your glassware, they fill your coffee for you, they put the plates on your table, and it transfers. So even something like this can get you sick. No bueno. We can't go out to a restaurant, a bar no. sounds like no, that. I'm ruining it for yeah, you. I'm, I'm staying in tonight. <laughs> and every night, Dr. O. I love this one. This is where you get your guest check. Uh... How many times have you touched this and it was sticky? So, here's an actual one, and it is so sticky <laughs> that the money actually sticks to it. But here's the problem. Now the money is contaminated. So, if and we... And you hand me the money, and I'm contaminated, and then I give, I give the money to my lawyer for getting me out of trouble. And it's crazy. And everyone's, it's and everyone's crazy contaminated. That money can be dirtier than a toilet seat. And that is what people are handling oh, while they're handling God. your drinks and your food. Oh I, my gosh. I'm not, I'm not okay with you right now, John. <laughs> John it happened John, last time, it's happening food. again. I am now having restaurant phobia. I am terrified, and the next thing you're gonna tell me that I have to worry about the beer I drink. You're gonna have to worry about the beer you drink, Dr. Travis. So, for years, the beer companies would clean the, the beer lines. And beer lines, because beer has yeast and You're proteins about in it. Tap beer, Drip which, beer, which we love. Which we all love. And is less expensive than bottled beer. So a lot of people drink it for value. Now the beer companies in many states are not allowed to clean the lines anymore because they're not allowed to do free services for the bars. So the bars aren't used to doing it themselves every two weeks, so they don't. So then what happens is bacteria develops in the draft beer lines, and you can smell it. It smells like tin, a tinny kind of a smell. So if you ever bring a beer up to your lips and you taste that tinniness. I've tasted that. Yeah. I've tasted so, that. It'll get you sick. So, John, what you want is, is a, a place with a t a beer on tap that's pouring a lot of beer. You, you bet. want this moving all the time. You bet. Whenever you go to a restaurant or a bar, you always want to order what's important to them. If you order what's important, if they have a lot of draft beer, draft right. beer is important to them. It's going to be cold. It's going to be cycled. It's going to be fresh. If you order something that's unimportant, even in food, it's always going to be less fresh, less cycled, less important when they make it. So always look at what their features are, what their specials are, what's important to them, and that's one way you can protect yourself.